still, the right first and second round picks could help the Giants return to the playoff hunt next season, with Odell Beckham Jr. and Landon Collins being prime examples of high draft picks carrying the Giants to success within their first few seasons. The Giants could use an upgrade at just about every position, but a high-profile running back, offensive lineman, or outside linebacker could propel the team back into the elite territory they briefly occupied last season. Wayne Gallman looked to be the answer. When he was drafted in the fourth round of last year's draft, Paul Perkins was supposed to be the answer during the preseason, and Orleans Dark was seemed to be the answer just three weeks ago. Instead, the Giants are still looking for a dynamic running back to complement one of the best receiving core in the league, and to counter the Dallas Cowboys' Ezekiel Elliott, and the Philadelphia Eagles' J.J. The Giants are currently in position for the third pick in the 2018 draft, and with both the Cleveland Browns and San Francisco 49ers projected to pick quarterbacks with those first two picks, every running back that declares for the draft should be available at that spot. Penn State's Saquon Barkley is the obvious choice given his dominance at the college level, but LSU's Darius Gies and Alabama's Damian Harris could also provide the Giants with significantly better options than any back currently playing for the team. Offensive Lyman the Giants' recent history with offensive linemen in the draft has only been partially successful. Weston Richburg, drafted in the second round of the 2014 draft, has evolved into one of the best young centers in the league, and 2013 first-round pick Justin Pugh has performed well since making the shift from tackle to guard. However, Eric Flowers, the ninth overall pick in the 2015 draft, has been a huge disappointment, and Adam Besnowity, a sixth-round pick in last year's draft, and the only offensive lineman taken since Flowers, was cut in the preseason. This upcoming draft class does not have the same level of talent with offensive linemen, but with the Giants' desperate need for quality pass protection, it wouldn't surprise anyone if the team reached and took a lineman with their projected top-five pick. Notre Dame has two linemen in guard Quentin Nelson and offensive tackle Mike McGlinchey that could work well, and if the team is willing to look past his knee injury, Texas offensive tackle Connor Williams is probably the best lineman available in the draft and a player that could make an immediate impact. Outside linebacker B.J. Goodson has been a huge surprise at middle linebacker, collecting the second most tackles of any Giants defensive player and performing well both in pass coverage and run prevention. However, there is a significant drop-off between Goodson and the team's other linebackers, and the team could certainly use an impact outside linebacker to provide support to the safeties in coverage and to the defensive ends in run stopping. There are no linebackers who warrant a top draft pick, but if someone like Georgia's Rockwin Smith or Alabama's Rashan Evans drops to the second round, there is no reason why the Giants shouldn't look to the draft to fill a position that has been a revolving door for several seasons running. The Giants could look to pick up a veteran outside linebacker in free agency, but drafting one would set the team up for continued success beyond next season. The Giants have had one of the worst seasons in franchise history to this point, but hopefully making the right selection in this upcoming draft will help provide the team with the hope that they can return to their competitive form in time for next season. If you would like to receive an email each time a new New York Giants article is published, fill out our email notification form.